Hey y'all, Jordan from Carolina Sewing back here and today I'm going to show y'all how to set up a hat for embroidery on the Baby Lock 6 Needle Intrepid. Uh, this will also work on the Baby Lock Alliance, the Baby Lock 10 Needle Valiant, and all past model Baby Lock 6 and 10 Needles. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're in front of the machine. We have our basic A-arm on and to take this off all you have to do is take this screw out. Set that to the side. And there's one more small screw right here that we're going to take out. Now you don't have to do anything with a large screw. And this is just going to lift right out. And you can set this to the side. Alright, this is the adapter that's going to work with the hoop itself. First thing you want to do is take these screws out. They're the same size as the ones we just took out of the A-frame. That's going to loosen this up. So just keep a hold of those. And now you want to loosen these screws. You don't want to take them all the way out. Okay. So now you're going to take this to the machine. It's going to look just like this going on. And you're going to feed the free arm through here. And just gently slide this on. So now I'm trying to do this good enough for camera, but it might be kind of hard to see. First thing you want to do is lift up on this so that the hoop will slide backwards. And if you come over here, you can see that this is just going to slide over here and fall right in place with that. We've got the same thing going on right here. So now you're going to take your two small screws that you just took out. They're going to go in right next to that knob. Don't tighten it up all the way just yet. Come over here, do the same thing. And now we're going to look on the bottom side. You may have to get low for this, but this is why we loosen these. They're going to fit right in this little indention here. Not this one, but this one. And right, right there. If you do it right, it's going to go in really smooth. And then we're just going to take these and tighten those up now. Just get nice and snug. And then you can come up here and make sure these are tight. I always do this with the machine off so I can do this part. Um, but you want to be able to take this and freely move this from left to right. If anything hits or doesn't go smooth, take it off and put it back on. But once you got that, you should be good to go. And now we're going to get to the hat part. Okay, so this is the hat frame itself. This is what your actual cap is going to go in. So to get this ready, all we do is just flip that down unclamp the side here and this will swing out. So to get the hat ready what you want to do is uh, you can unbuckle this makes it a little easier to deal with and the biggest thing is every hat is going to have this sweatband on it and if you leave that in there it'll mess up your embroidery, it'll sew right through it and it won't look very good. So we're going to flip this down and I'll show you the place on the hat frame right there and the uh, sweatband is going to go in between that. So we flip it out, get the hat wrapped around it here, and that'll slide in just like that. So I like to spread the sweatband out so we don't have a whole lot of bulk. Just like that, and make sure that we're still good. I can take this arm here. Put it around the bill. That's going to hold that in place. And what you want to do is get this as close aligned with this seam as you can. You want to get it right on there, and that's going to allow you to get as low as possible. So once you can't see that seam and you know it's there, come over here where we unclamped it and just put that latch back on there. Let it rest. Um, 
if you clamp it, it's gonna be too tight to maneuver if we need to. So once you got this here, you're gonna flip this part here and this is gonna hold your bill in place. And it's also gonna help center the hat. So we just push that down so you can't push anymore. If you look, there's a little red line and that's gonna line up perfectly with that. And if it didn't, you can maneuver your hat a little bit and get it so it can be perfectly centered. Um, but if those are lined up, you're good to go. So now I like to just double check and make sure that everything else looks good. If there's any little spots where like that where it's coming down, just push this around and get it where you need to. And then once you feel good, make sure your sweatband didn't fall back down. And then I like to take my thumb and push it on that little ledge there and grab that with my fingers and clamp it right in place. So that is how you hoop the hat. And now we're gonna take it to the machine. I'll show you how to put it on. So now we're in front of the machine. We've already put our adapter on, and now we're gonna take our hat that's hooped. I'm gonna show you how to put it on. So I like to put it sideways and slide this through there, and it'll get in place. And what you'll look for is there's little rollers with a little square opening right there. And what those are gonna do is gonna give you somewhere to push into. Once you get one, you can put pressure on it and the whole hat will click into place. So now once you got that, this hat is in here and you can pull up your design from your USB or your built-in or wherever. And this is where you can size, edit it, rotate it. Um, and once you get it where you want it, you edit it uh -huh. in and it's automatically gonna flip upside down for you because obviously the hat's upside down. So I typically like to move it as low as possible so it's low down here towards the hat. Then once you got that, embroidery, change your thread, do whatever you want to do there, adjust your speed however, um, and you're ready to go. Thanks for following along today and if you learned something please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you might want to see for future videos. Um, keep up with all of our stuff we do day to day. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.